Okay, so again, this portion of our MixCraft lesson is not a detailed tutorial on how to mix audio. That's what the other tutorials are for. Here we're looking more at the video track and how audio relates to it. I want to give myself some more real estate on my monitor, so I will go down here to the lower right area and click this minus sign next to the unlock and that will minimize my details window. Now we can see all my audio tracks that I got. First thing I want to do here is zoom in a little bit and then I want to link all my video tracks to one another. Linking my video tracks will take my three individual tracks and create one track out of them. That way I won't mess up my crossfades that I've already created. To link these, I'll click on the first track, then hold down the shift key and click on the other two tracks. Now I'll right click, go down to link, and link selected clips. Now I can move these as one clip. Now the way that I like to edit audio for videos such as this is I like to start with the most important piece of audio. In this case it's the voiceover because it tells the story of what's going on in the video. So I want to create my track list in order of importance starting with the most important right underneath the video track which like I said is the voiceover. Right now it's called Mother Bear. I'm going to double click on the name and rename it voiceover. Then I'm going to click and hold on the track. It turns into a hand and drag it up just below the video track. The next most important thing in this video is the song, which is attention, which is down here. I'm going to drag up. Then it's the large waterfall, which is the louder of the two. And then the smaller waterfall or the stream, which is already at number five. And then finally the birds. Now they're in order of importance. Okay, so let's go after the first part, which is the voiceover part. I'm going to make the video track and my first audio track a little bit larger so I can see them better. And I'm going to unmute the voiceover. I'm going to show my video window here, move it down out of the way a little bit. And now I'm just going to rough in where I think that the audio should go. And I know it goes over the bear video, so I'll just put it right there for now. And I'm gonna preview it, but I don't wanna hear the whole thing, so I'm gonna put my playhead right before the bear video comes in and push play. The mother bear searches for food for her. Okay, that's a little bit early. I wanna come in right where the head starts moving and the fade has ended. So about right there. Now in order to get my audio to line up, I'll put my cursor up here in the timeline, double click, create a marker. I'll call it in, push OK. Now I can move my audio to start right where that bear starts moving her head. To double check, I'll go a little bit before, push play. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. Now this second part comes in a little bit late. So in order to change that, there's a number of ways I can edit it. Quickest way I find is go in here anywhere. In the upper green part here on the audio bar, right click. We're going to split that audio. Move that out of the way a little bit. I can trim this audio just by holding and dragging it to the direction that I want to trim. Now I can move that back in and click the playhead up here and preview. Not finding any, she retreats. Still needs to be a little bit earlier. Now again, I can go in here and create a um, marker if I want to be exact. Not finding any, she retreats to look elsewhere. Except I happen to hit it right on on that point. Okay, so that portion is done for right now, except I noticed that when I was playing the word finding right here, 
my meter peaked, it hit red. I can double check that by zooming in, highlight this area, create a loop section, push play. Not finding any, not find. Now notice up here on my meter bridge that it will hit red on finding. Finding any, not finding any, not finding any, not finding any. So I want to reduce just that portion. Now I can compress the whole channel here, but I really don't want to do that. I don't want to compress a single channel at this point. So I'm going to go in here and edit this. Now I can either edit it straight in the timeline. See when I hover over this white line appears, or I can automate it by clicking this automate button. I have here track volume selected. Go into my track volume and create and some automation breakpoints. One right before it hits and then a little before that at the tail end of that audio and one on the downstream. The reason I do this is I want to bring this down to I don't know about 65% and I don't want to have it just peak really quickly. I want it to gradually go up. So I'll bring this one down to, I don't know, about 92% will sound good. I'm going to zoom out again. I still have my loop area. So we'll preview. Not finding any, not finding any, not finding any. Now it sounds pretty, pretty even. I'll close that automation window. Go down here, get rid of that loop. Zoom out. That would be the other way. And then move on to the next piece of audio. Now in this section, this is the actual music that goes over it. I'm gonna unmute it, rewind, play from the top. Now I can't hear how that music relates back to the voiceover, which is really what determines how loud that music's gonna be. So I'm gonna move a little bit closer here to the voiceover section. I'm still in the song. I'm going to highlight the audio section. Go down and create a loop point. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not finding any, she retreats to look out. Now the audio is drowning out the voiceover a little bit. So let me create a bigger window so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to automate this portion as well. Now I could go in here and move my fader down. But I prefer to automate it. I already have my breakpoint right here, so I can reduce this and I'm going to go down to. Well, let's try 50% and see what happens. I swear. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs, not finding any. Still a little bit too loud. I'm going to go up here a little bit. And instead of moving it down, I'm going to right click, go to exact value. And right now it's at 49.71. That's a little bit too exacting. I'm going to go down to about 43%. Click OK. And preview. She retreats to look elsewhere. The mother bear searches for food for her cubs. Not far. Yeah, I'll probably go down just a wee bit more. I'm going down to 38%. And... I'm going to right click, go to height, normal, that will get me back to my normal state, and then click the automation button to get rid of that window.